I feel like everyone should go ahead and just give the fourth season to the seven deadly sins another try, especially because this is the seven deadly sins. Now I know that um we've all had bad experiences due to season three, but we cannot let that get a hold of us, man, into this season. The second episode of season four of the seven deadly sins was actually very enjoyable and i actually saw some character development on a certain character that is one of my favorites in this series especially the banter as well within the funny side of it but it was just very nice to see that the character that i've been looking forward to is actually gotten some form of development and especially when he leaves purgatory some form of upgrade in his ability and his strength as well as his mind is gonna be a big part in this change or in this anime series what is going on guys it's your boy Roos or Mr 36 and if you are new to this channel please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe especially as it helps my channel out a lot now we were into this episode last week right and last week um, Ban had found Meliodas, not exactly Meliodas um, per se, but his feelings, all the good things about Meliodas. And Meliodas in this world has been in this world for quite a while. Apparently, about one um, one minute in Purgatory is that one year on the outside world, or somewhat along those lines. If I got that wrong, you know, please forgive me, but it was around those lines, okay? And there's two types of beings in Purgatory ones who are the foreigners such as someone like Ban who entered purgatory and those who are actually born in of purgatory who actually have a body and you can use them for food or um clothing just such as um, what Ban and Meliodas did now remember Meliodas is literally right now in the egg that's being protected by Zeldris and his demons and that's everything negative about Meliodas everything that the demon king once within Meliodas to be the next demon king and the only thing that's stopping him from being as good as he was before is the side of him that is in purgatory that Ban has now found. Now Ban and Meliodas are very tight and they're very good friends and to be honest this is probably one of the best episodes to see how close of a friendship that these two have. Remember the side of Meliodas which is like the bad side or the negative side is actually quite removed from this side of Meliodas. This is everything good about Meliodas. Everything that transpires him into being a good human, should I say, or half demon, half human being. And this kind of Meliodas was very sweet and very nice to Ban. And Ban really did notice that. Ban had asked him what has gone, gotten into Meliodas. And to be honest, to see Meliodas quite thankful for how Ban is um, able to sacrifice himself and come inside of Purgatory just to save him shows how much of a respect that Ban has for the relationship between him and Meliodas and how much value he has in that relationship. They were both naked and Ban, not they weren't both naked but they were both necessarily naked as they needed new clothes and Ban did the majority of the work. The Meliodas here is not as strong as he used to be just due to the removal of the good things inside of him and him not having an actual body and so Ban had to do what he needed to do in order to get food and in order to get clothing for the two of them. Ban seems to be the type of person who's able to adapt to any situation, okay, to any environment as long as he doesn't have the will to give up, especially because he has the body of an immortal. He has to also feed that um, human side of him and keep that body healthy and actively fit it goes to show how much of a strong character Ban really is and the way they really did nerf him in season 3 yes I was upset yes I was pissed but to see the difference especially in this series compared to how he was in season 3 I can already tell that Ban is probably going to be very very strong and very very up there in terms of the big difference of winning the the fight against the angels and the demons and the seven deadly sins who are made up of different species and different people you know like this and this episode was great i really did enjoy it especially to see the change inside of like for example ban that's happening i'm really excited to see the development we saw the um new type of animal that's actually a brother to hawk named mild we were actually introduced to mild and mild is literally the same as hawk you talk you can communicate with hawk the only thing is that he is much more of a boar than a pig and hawk is a pig 
than a ball, you know. And when Hawk was born in the world of purgatory, he was taken from that world by the Demon King to watch Meliodas, of course. And over the years, there has been plentiful amounts of animals that just didn't um, work and were up to the task in order to do so. They didn't survive long and they didn't live for long. But Hawk is a different exception. Hawk is a different case, and Hawk is quite special for that reason in the long. It was so funny to see how Hawk has an older brother, and the older brother has been living in purgatory for eight billion years. And just to see the correlation between Hawk and Mao, they're very much more the same. You know what I mean? Like it's just funny. Like I just found it very intriguing, very interesting. I didn't think anything or anyone else like Hawk but it seems as though there's actually another being just like Hawk and they're very much opposite than Hawk. Um, Hawk happens to not have been alive for that long and the brother seems to have lived 8 billion years. Imagine that 8 billion years is crazy right? Cool. So if Hawk lives up to 8 billion years the size of growth that he that he can reach actually is about his size or maybe it could even be as big as the mom that carries the bar for the whole of the seven deadly sins. Meliodas and Ban are planning to escape from purgatory now, now that they've got some food in the stomach, now that they've got clothes on their back, and now that they're both in the right set of minds. Zeldris is taking the battle to Eskinor, Ludasil, Merlin, and it's really a tough time because he's unleashed his new magic ability which was given to him by the Demon King, which attracts people with high power levels as well as that makes them unable to see his attack which is very quick and very well quite damaging i should say i love Eskinor because he's just so cheeky and he's only willing to help murder like Eskinor has to be the funniest and also the most strongest character right when the sun is out but when the sun is not out i think he keeps a reserve of energy within him either way Eskinor was so funny in this i really loved Eskinor. i actually even started to like him a bit more just because of how cheeky he was and how he was willing to only answer to Merlin and it was just amazing to see how Merlin is so very knowledgeable as well when it comes to magic and spells and she's somebody you want on your side because if she's anyone like anything that magic ability chosen to be by the demon king and the angel of heaven themselves then come on bro who wouldn't want to have Merlin on their side this episode was great I want you guys to go give seven deadly sins okay another chance the animation was good in this i'm not gonna despise it i'm not gonna um take the mick out of it i'm not gonna insult it okay i'm just gonna enjoy it for what it is and if the animation isn't up to par to what i want it to be then it is what it is man you just gotta take it or just leave it and i'm not one to you know fuss around too much because seven deadly sins story is really good I am not going to lie about it like, i really do enjoy the story and i really did enjoy the characters it is what it is it's been your boy Roos or mr 36 and whether you're watching or listening to this in the morning afternoon or evening i hope you guys have a good day man don't forget to leave a like and subscribe okay and if you're listening on the podcast please make sure to hit that follow button man it means a lot thank you very much i'm out peace